Hello. I'm going to make this video uh, talk about the what we did last week, the vase last week. So there's a um, couple things I want to talk about the vase last week. First of all, it's the shape of it. Um, I saw a student did this. So she had the, okay, let me just try to make, you can understand. So she, she, she did a rectangle with a kind of a correct proportion, right? Then when she put the vase inside, so that here's a, a straight line so you can make the both sides are symmetrical, easy to look if you have the line in the center. So then she did this, she, she started doing that. Then the bottom one looks like this, right? So then I asked her, I said, well, if you, if this doesn't touch the side, and why are you doing this rectangle, right? Because this rectangle kind of uh, framed the whole vase inside the rectangle, right? So if, if if this vase goes like this, then bumps out more like that, let's say like that. So your rectangle probably will go like this, right? Because that's kind of you frame the whole proportion inside. So you're not like, you're not draw a rectangle like this, then later on you bumped out, right? Or you like she did, she like, then she drew like this. Like then why you want the rectangle here? The rectangle lost the purpose of it, right? So that's the... That's the drawing of it. And another thing is the shape, right? So the shape, it's it's kind of a circle, but not exactly a circle. So pay attention, don't just draw a circle here, okay? Pay attention like how exactly this round thing looks like, all right? Um, then I'm going to talking about the shadow. So I was, the reason, the reason I gave you guys this vase is because all the bumps and the curves on this vase. Basically, this vase curves in, curves out, curves out, curves in, right? So then I talking about, okay, if this vase is bump like that, the core shadow changes. Look, here's the student have the first layer here, gave it to me. So from here to here, the shadow didn't change anything, right? So if, if the core shadow looks like this, then this must be a cylinder, straight, right? Then this part, because that's not connect. Can you, you can tell that's not connected, right? So, so, um, she has something here, so I think interesting. That's that's kind of that's kind of correct, right? But then there's another thing of this, because the bumps. So this part, and this part, are facing different lights. That's kind of like a shoulder. That should get more lights on. You can tell. The shoulder here. Let's see, make a straight. See, you can tell this value 
is lighter than here. Got it? So when you shade it, I emphasize this. You have to understand the value behind it. Why this part of value is lighter, why that part of value is darker, because we are shading lights, right? Some part is direct to the light, the very light. Some parts of value is behind the light, is darker. Then some part has reflect light and makes lighter, like this part, right? Were you thinking like, oh, this even goes in in the dark side, they must get less light. It must be like super dark. No, because now it have a reflect light from table, make that part light. Then another thing, if the table is a black table or a dark brown table, that going to be darker. They have a reflect a darker light. So the reflection, not just only light, the reflects dark things too, right? Reflects dark things. So, okay, here I was talking about to her, like, see, that part is different than this part because that has a shoulder and should be lighter, you know, that has a reflection, should be lighter. So the darkest part is kind of right here. Then this part is lighter too because it turned. That part is even lighter, right? On the shoulder, then it's turned. So I was explained to her. Then she did it finally very well. Look, that's the final picture she did. It looks pretty good, right? Um, then another thing um, I was talking about, I remember in the beginning, her um, highlight was here. And I say, okay, highlight it's just like the core shadow, just like a core shadow. You need to put on a right place because it's not like a highlight. You just leave a white spot, whatever, wherever, right? If you leave a white spot here, the light's going to shine here. If you leave a right spot here, the light's going to shine here. If you leave a light spot here, the light's going to shine here. So depends where the light shines the highlight have a on a different spot if you made a if you do a different spot okay the light's going to shine on a different different place that all the shadows going to go on different places right so the the place and the shape is very important for the highlight too don't just you know get a a spot just leave a white no okay um then i was talking about this thing in the beginning you know the oval always has to be symmetrical if you this turn like that the top has to be the same like that right if you if this is super super flat like like this line like that super super flat then this part probably be super, super flat too. Has to be symmetrical. Depends what's the angle you're looking at, the oh, the top, this different, different, uh, different uh, size of the oval. Okay, uh, that's about it.